Today I want to cover creating diagrams in Revit. So you see here that I've got a kind of site design maybe of a housing or building layout um, and I've created in a kind of vector style diagram using uh, Revit. So I just want to show you how you might go, go about so creating something like this uh, in the Revit environment. So I've actually placed four different versions of this on a sheet. You can see uh, from the top left, we start with say stage one site requirements. Uh, and these are all just, these represent each of our buildings that we're gonna place on our site. So we can take it that these are uh, maybe 10 uh, three bed houses that we wanna place on our site. We know that we also want five, three or four or five bed houses uh, as well. So I've created just a volume using uh, the create in mass place tool. And then we've got some smaller buildings here, maybe kind of single story two bed houses as well. And we've created these in the 3D environment uh, and then I've just duplicated them. Now you could use something like design options or phasing as well, but I've just duplicated these around uh, in my 3D uh, environment. I'll show you how to how to do that now. Uh, then kind of stage two, looking at placing the units. Uh, so so taking all of these units, looking at your site uh, and then placing them around. And you, I, I've even created something for, for a private open space or, or public open space for your, your green area on a, on a uh, development as well. And then I've kind of manipulated and just moved the buildings around just to give a different uh, mix of each building type. And I've color coded them just using the material setting in Revit as well. Uh, and then on the final one, kind of site design, I've placed uh, uh, the, the, the green area and kind of changed it around to suit maybe a road layout around it. Uh, some cars as well, just placed from the components library um, within Revit as well. And using just trees as well that I've placed also from the Revit library. Uh, and again, you can see I've turned on the shadows. You don't have to have the shadows turned on by any means. So kind of maybe, you know, shown this to a client or a housing developer, how the site might be able to develop. So I'll just show you what I've set up here. So basically in the background, I've got a 3D view of each one. So you can see here, uh, initially I just created a mass of each of one of these. So if I, I've grouped them all so that if I edit one, they all edit. So I'm just gonna ungroup that for a second. If I go in here, I can see that that's a generic model and it's a mass. So how I'd start creating something like that is, I'm just gonna go into my top view. I'm gonna to go to my architecture tab, component, model in place, very simple. Uh, and then I'm gonna assign a, a, a category to it, a family category. And I'm gonna call it just generic model. You can call it anything you want. You can call it massing if you want as well. I just wanna create a basic extrusion. Um, and I can create a dimensioned extrusion if I know what size I want. So I might want, yeah, say seven meters down there, uh, five meters up there. We know that's going to give us 35 meters on, on, on both floors of its two story house. Just hit finish on that. You can see that's kind of uh, created a fairly uh, low depth um, extrusion and I can just change what height I want it to be. So I'm going to, I'm going to make it five meters. Say it's two story. We won't worry about the roof or the, the pitch of the roof whatsoever for the moment. So basically I've just created that. I've added those into a group then, just created a group so that if I if I duplicate this for whatever reason, duplicate it across and keep going with that. If I go in and edit this, change the color or anything like that. So just edit group, I'm gonna go back into this. I wanna change the material on this. So edit in place and then left hand side, I just wanna change the material. So just select my object. Uh, and currently the material is just set by category. That's why it's gray. Uh, and I have a couple, a couple of different, um, couple of different materials set up here in the background as well. So I've got kind of yellow and white. You can create your own if you want. Um, I'm just going to go create new material. Uh, so let's create a new material. And I just want to assign some sort of. Uh, I won't. Create, I'm just going to assign a color to that, for example. Uh, so we go with this kind of deep purple color. Uh, hit apply on that. Click OK, and you can see that's updated there. When I hit finish on that, hit finish again, you can see that duplicates uh, across the other one. So every time I duplicate that, make a change, pull that across like so. If I change the shape of this for whatever reason, manipulate the edges of it, uh, maybe I create a roof pitch, it's going to it's gonna duplicate then across your, your whole site as well. Just to show you, that's how you might create the mass. I've also placed some 3D text here. You can change the depth of that as well, if it's the type of effect you're going for. Uh, it depends what you what type of effect you want, want to uh, apply to your drawings. And then this is, the, I, I might have pulled this in from an OS map or a site survey. This is the actual site itself as well. So I've basically duplicated the number of units I know each time that need to be placed. So a developer might 
um, define how many they want on a site, or it could be the local council might define what they want on a particular site as well. So you can just duplicate those around. Then the next 3D view, I've just placed them, just moved them around, just manipulated them, uh, moved each one. You know, you can move that there if you want, slightly change it back if you want, uh, create a kind of step effect as well if you want. And you can see there's various different ones here as well. So you can start to move them around to, to, to different locations if you wish there and start to add more detail if you want. I've also added in some shading. So if I type in GD, uh, I've turned on smooth lines with anti-aliasing. Uh, I've also turned on cast shadows, ambient shadows as well. Now ambient shadows, you can kind of see there's a slightly gradient uh, shadow on each surface. That's what ambient shadow does. If I hit that, then hit apply, you can see it slightly disappears. Now to get, if I was to export this as a PDF, it would retain the, the vector lines as a PDF. You know, you keep zooming in and they retain as vector lines. If you turn on ambient shadows, it, you have, it, it will only convert it to a JPEG version. So if you zoom in, it will eventually become blurry. So just to, to re remember that, the difference between uh, ambient shadows and, and uh, creating vector images as well. So that's, I've placed the units around there. I've also created something for, for you know, public open space. I've just created the required floor area um, or the required finished surface area of that as well. Um, then in the third one, again, just kind of manipulate them around, moved each unit around, give it a kind of mix, make it a look a, a bit more like a bit of variation in, in, in a housing estate, for example. And then on the final one, I've placed trees and stuff like that. And you can see I've actually turned on ambient shadows, placed cars uh, and placed some trees around there. And these trees are just taken, you can see here on the left-hand side, they're just taken from the planting uh, Revit objects library as well. And then you can even go and create a 3D view if you want as well. Fairly basic looking, but you can manipulate it to, to maybe uh, appear slightly differently. I've added in a gradient into the background. So if I type in GD for graphic display, go to background again, uh, I can turn on sky if I want, we'll see how that looks. That's probably a bit dark. Uh, you can turn it off so it's completely white if you want that sort of look. Uh, but I'm gonna leave the gradient on. Uh, I can change the ground color as well. I can maybe make the ground color just a bit lighter so it maybe it blends in so you don't see it here. Uh, a bit more of a, a white or gray color. You can see there it completely disappears into the horizon. You can also hide these trees if you want. But what you can see here is the thickness on, on each uh, vector line around the buildings as well. So I'm going to go back into this one and just explain this for a moment. So when I select one of these, so you'll see at the start when, when I started to create my mass, I defined it as a generic model. So this is how you change the thickness of those particular lines. So I'm going to go into manage, I'm going to go into object styles, and I'm going to go down to my model objects, and I'm just going to scroll down to generic models where we are, we are generic models and you can see the projection line on that is set to eight if I change that to five hit apply it's going to update everywhere because everything is set to generic model so depending on what size of kind of diagram look you're going for uh, you might want a thicker or a thinner line or whatever but that's how you control it in the background as well each individual color you used is is created from your your materials library, like I showed at the start, you just create a separate material for each one, depending on what look you're going for. Um, and then at the end of this, I kind of manipulated the green open space just to place that around as well. And then at the end of all that, I just placed them all in the sheet. Might be something that you show to a client um, or pre present to a local council or stakeholders in a project as well. Just to explain, you know, your development idea, you're kind of starting quite uh, diagrammatic here with your units layout as well. And then you're showing how they're placed around the site. Uh, kind of arrange them with a bit more uh, thought out as well uh, and then you know adding some sort of landscaping detail into that as well so that's just a brief overview of how you might create diagrams uh, using autodesk revit <music>